This video explains the congenital heart condition ventricular septal defect. You may wish to view our video on normal heart function before viewing this. The part of the heart that pumps blood to the lungs via the pulmonary artery is called the right ventricle. And the part of the heart that pumps blood to the body via the aorta is called the left ventricle. The two ventricles are divided by the ventricular septum. A hole in the ventricular septum is called a ventricular septal defect or VSD. When a VSD is present, some of the blood that should be pumped from the left ventricle to the aorta passes through the VSD to the right ventricle and then to the pulmonary artery. This means that more blood flows to the lungs than flows to the body. The extra blood flow to the lungs returns to the left side of the heart and, if the VSD is large enough, causes the left side of the heart to enlarge. The impact of a VSD largely depends on its size. At one end of the spectrum, a large VSD results in a large amount of extra blood flow to the lungs and may cause problems such as difficulties with breathing and feeding shortly after birth. If larger VSDs are left untreated, over time, the extra blood flow to the lungs can cause permanent damage to the arteries of the lungs. At the other end of the spectrum, when a VSD is small, there may only be a very small amount of extra blood flow to the lungs, such that the left side of the heart does not become enlarged. Closing a ventricular septal defect most commonly requires open heart surgery, in which a patch of material is sewn over the hole, preventing blood flowing through it and allowing the enlarged heart to reduce in size. In some cases, in older children and adults, smaller VSDs can be closed using a keyhole procedure rather than open heart surgery. However, Smaller VSDs may not need to be treated, and some may even close by themselves. When a small VSD is left untreated, observation over time may be required because complications occasionally occur. For example, when the VSD is close to the aortic valve, the aortic valve can develop a leak, so that some blood that has been pumped from the left ventricle to the aorta leaks back into the left ventricle. There is also a risk of infective endocarditis, which means infection in the heart on an untreated VSD.